If you'd like to support my channel, consider becoming a patron. $2 gets you access to my videos earlier than YouTube, 5 will get you access to polls that determine my next review or let's play, and $10 gets you direct input into what content I cover. It also gets you extra entries into giveaways, and you'll get to see your name mentioned at the end of every video. If that doesn't do it for you, I have shirts and merchandise on Spreadshirt.com that you can also buy. As always, links will be in the description and the end slate. Hello lords and ladies, welcome back to Cartoon Hangout, your place for all things cartoon. Before beginning this review, I just want to recommend you go and check out my Cartoon Hangout Award Show video. In it, I talk about a few shows I think were the best new cartoons of 2017. I think you'll like it. Link in the description. Okay, now to the review. After a hiatus lasting months, seriously, what the hell, we finally have some more Spider-Man episodes to look forward to. Now, despite me putting this show in my award show video, I still wasn't entirely sold on this upcoming story arc. A young Otto is pretty strange, and even after this episode, I'm not sure it necessarily adds anything new, since he still operates as Peter's teacher. That dynamic would still surely exist had he been designed to be older. With that said, I did enjoy the first part of The Rise of Doc Ock. It's a rather well-written first part, and I'm looking forward to seeing where the story goes. Unlike some previous episodes, this arc is actually going to build Ock up, so that he eventually becomes a supervillain we all know and love. Though I'm not entirely sure at this point what will tip him over. In the original canon, just the explosion alone seemed to send him over to the dark side. I guess the difference here is that Peter managed to talk to him and gave him a new path. In that way, I think the show has given us a unique take on the Spider-Man lore, and I commend them for some excellent writing. Other than that, the episode was pretty typical superhero fare. Otto teams up with Spider-Man to take out Crimson Dynamo, who happens to be female this time. She's an adaptation of a more recent successor to the Dynamo name, of which there are many, who first appeared in Hulk Winter Guard issue 1. Her armor here looks a lot less, uh, stupid than in the comics. It's like she has a TV for a helmet. It did feel like Spidey was having a really hard time against this Dynamo character. I don't think it should have been necessarily easy, but I do think the writers made her such a difficult foe to help justify needing Doc Ock. It's not a huge deal, it's just something I noted as I watched. The Rise of Doc Ock Part 1 may not be the greatest episode of the show, but it does entertain as it should, and it gives us a nice taste of things to come. Maybe this arc won't be as awful as I had feared. Tune in tomorrow for my review of Part 2. Thanks for watching, and take care.